Hey, here we are back in the shop again at AJ's. We've just removed the steering rack and pinion gearbox off of a 14 Wildcat X with 4,100 miles. We're going to take a look inside of this gearbox today and I'm going to crack it open so that you can see what we see when we take one apart. This gearbox, 4,100 miles. You can look at it and see that it's not been apart. It's just been removed. <clears throat> the seal has not been broken apart. All the dirt, everything, just the way it is. And then the grease that's on it. That was greased from, the, I presume, the factory grease. Um, this gearbox is extremely tight to turn. And you can see that I'm turning it with two fingers, but it's awful hard to turn. And that's the bump stop right there. I'm going to turn it back. It just, it feels super hard to turn. It's easy right there. Uh, it's starting to get a little hard again out here on the end. Again, you can see I'm turning with my fingers. Right there is real tight. Anyways, that's all the way. So I'm going to set this phone down. And I'm going to take the screws out. We're going to take this thing apart. And you guys are going to get to see what we see. I think that's good enough right there. If I have to get a little closer, I will. But I'm curious to look on the inside myself. All right, we've got all the screws out. Get something to pry this thing apart and see what it looks like on the inside. places to break it loose here. Now it's starting to come apart. And I'm betting that there's hardly any grease on the main gear. It's probably going to be packed all the way around the edges. Uh, the actual grease that they put in it from the factory, it's not a lithium. Uh, lithium is going to stay on the gears. It's going to stay on the drive gear. Regular grease is going to work its way to the outer edge, and the gear is probably going to be dry. And it looks like it's going to come apart. It's all around the edges here. Got a little bit on the You've seen the water just squirt out there on the end from taking this thing apart. And I can actually see the water that's in it. Okay. What I'm seeing here now, believe it or not, if 
you'll look right here this screw has backed out right there the screw holding the bushing in has backed out on that end and that's what's hitting the gearbox and not letting it turn all the way to one side so when it's going this way that screws hitting right there and if you look on this side the screws in all the way all the way in look on this side over here and the water just keeps coming out of this thing here I'm gonna dump the water out of it the rusty water coming out of that so that tells me that it is not a sealed unit just as I suspected Alright, we're going to pull the gear out, try and get it out of place, there is the drive gear, or the rack gear, and if you'll look here on the end, the bushing, the screw has backed out, it's ready to come off and drop down, just like the last one. And that stripped the teeth off. Well, I knew we would have a mess, but also you can see where the grease is just packed around the top, all the way in the corners. Here's our seal plate, the rubber gasket, the stainless plate lay them out of the way the drive pin the rack gear and now that turns super easy in there super easy don't know if that bearings locked up or not but we're gonna take a look at it and see we're gonna have to brush it up just a little bit to uh, drive shaft out of the box itself Shafts out. The bearing's not locked up. But we're going to wipe it out. Just double check everything. But this is going to be another one that's rebuilt. I've seen an abundance of water come out of this one. Go ahead and take our brass button out, springs out. clean these parts up here in a little bit and come back to see what we've got uh, but there again the bearing is not locked up in this one that bearings turning although it did have water in the gearbox what I don't like is the fact that on these particular that screw has backed out there's the bushing that drops off the end of that gear and when that gear falls it strips and when it strips that, that's a gearbox we'll go ahead and 
try and take it off. It won't tighten. Nor will it loosen, so we're going to cut that out. We'll put the video on pause, get these things cleaned up. We'll be back in a few. Okay, back at it. We've got everything pretty much cleaned up. About as good as we can get it. We're going to clean it one more time, but it was pretty nasty. We've got the inside of the case cleaned. You can see where the bushings was rubbing on the back side of the case. Uh, what's rubbing on the back side of the case are these plastic bushings on the end. That's what sets in the back and drives this way driven by the worm gear but as you can see what we were seeing a while ago when we first broke it open this screw has backed out and it was letting that bushing drop down causing this gearbox to go into a bind and that screw torque screw hits the end of the gearbox and it doesn't let it turn all the way like it does on that end so it's hitting this way not that way and if steered hard enough ditch rock stump something to grab the wheel out of your hand hits the end of that can either break the gearbox break the head of the screw off then the bushing drops down but in this case it didn't drop it was still holding on to the end but the end of the bushing is wallowed out from what it needs to be see it's almost just ready to pull through there i mean i could probably pull it off of the end and ruin it but anyways drive gear shaft stainless plate seal bushing slide seal steel plate rubber gasket you know the drill we're going to take this from here completely and clean it and rebuild it and put it back on this machine. This is 4,000 miles on a Wildcat 1000 steering gearbox rack and pinion. Not a good design, but it's all we got. But when we get done with it, it'll just about be a bulletproof box. We'll get back to you soon. Thanks.